Alright guys, today we're back on Borjonga Savana with the only goal of keep searching for all the rares we still haven't gotten on this reserve, like for example the albino key buffalo, the melanistic and the albino jackal and the elusive red warhawk. So on this occasion we'll be doing some server hoping to in addition of having to constantly defend ourselves from these aggressive buffalos, also have a good shot at finding some interesting stuff like a max estimate Kuro track I found around this area right here. As you can see this one says 91 to 105 kilograms which means that this Kuro has a chance to be a level 5 and perhaps the first diamond of the hunt. We gotta find it. Oh is that him? Just a female. Which seems to be returning. And there they are. That must be the max estimate. Level 4, top estimate of 152, maybe diamond. Maybe diamond. He seems decent. But I don't think he'll make it. I feel the fives are usually quite bigger. And we got him good, that was definitely viral. Now let's see a score of what is the first max estimate of the hunt and potential diamond perhaps? I still wouldn't rule that out. I mean the horns look decent but the question is are they big enough? Let's see. 142.42 and a weight of 92.26 kilograms. It is definitely a really big gold but it's still quite far from diamond, almost 10 points shy from the diamond score. Not too bad to start the hunt still. Well, there is a big buffalo. Level 9 legendary. Top estimate of 167. Will he be diamond? I've no idea, but that is the fourth brown level 9 we've seen the last two weeks. Right on this location. You know, to be honest, I'll be really surprised if this guy is also a diamond because he has the small diamond horns and the odds of getting three consecutive small horn diamond cave buffalos are not good. I mean, it is very likely that at least one of them will end up in a troll because the odds are probably like 50-50. Okay, how far is this buffalo? 69, 68, roughly 7 emers out. And he's broadside. What else can we ask for? This should be a very easy shot using the 470. And that definitely should be a double long, although I also wanted to hit the heart right there. We missed the heart, but he's going down 50 to 75. I'ma try to hit him again just to drop him quicker. He's down. Alright, here we have it. We know this guy is a level 9 with the potential to be the first diamond of the hunt, but the question is, will it actually be big enough to make it? Hopefully. But he's a troll, 150.39. That's unfortunate. But honestly kind expected. Surprisingly, the penetration on the first shot was not enough to go through both longs, and I say it is surprising because the 470 has a 100 penetration and it should be able to reach both longs at that distance. Alright guys, we're on a different session now, and for the last 10 minutes, I've been chasing what is potentially a max core, max weight, Warhawk. It has a chance to be one. It doesn't mean it will be, but it has a chance. Now, as you can see, there's a fit zone right there, which may be from this same level 5. Oh, no way, that's him. No, level 2. You know, the trucks are heading that way, so that may be also... Oh. Yeah, he's also fitting there. Warning call. He is gonna start fleeing because unfortunately as you can see the wind is blowing directly towards him. And there he is. 
Hama used the 454 and now a buffalo is coming for us. We gotta hurry. He's getting quite far, but we may be able to get a good shot from here. Come on. Oh. Now I'ma have to get rid of this buffalo before she kills us. No, in fact it is a male. Okay, finally an open area. So hopefully we'll get a chance to shoot this Warhawk. First we need to spot him. Where is he? Oh, must be one of those, yeah. Roughly 120 meters out. Won't be a simple shot. But he's down, we got him good. Well, I assume that was actually vital because we may have hit only the spine and we may have lost the diamond, but hopefully not. Okay, fortunately there's some viral blood next to it, which means that we actually hit a viral and most likely also got the full harvest checks. So now the question is, how big is this guy? Will it be a max core, max weight diamond warhawk? Maybe. You know, the only thing we know is that it is a guaranteed diamond because these are the big diamond tusks. And it is a diamond as expected with a score of 61.2, big diamond. Far from being the max score we were hoping he'd be, but we cannot complain, it is a very nice trophy and the first diamond of the hunt. Alright guys, we're on a different session now and look at what I just found. A max estimate jackal track, 12 to 14 kilograms. Might be level 9. Ok, I just got a warning call coming from that area and there's another one. Maybe the max estimate, although... I'm not sure if we want that one to be the big one because he's making a lot of calls, he is very vocal and honestly that is not a good sign because the level 9s are typically not that vocal. They barely make any noise. So if this one is in fact the max estimate, it is most likely either a level 7 or a level 8. He keeps making calls. Right there. Level 7. He is not that big, which is unfortunate because we had to chase him for like 3 kilometers to get to his point. Not a great angle, but I'll have to shoot him on the back of the head because I've no plans to chase him any longer. And he's down. Was that a brain shot or a neck shot? You know, if we hit the brain, we mess it up, but if it was a neck shot, then that was a very nice shot. And actually, it was in fact a neck shot, we hit the upper neck, and we didn't hit the brain, but we hit the skull, so we lost the medal. Although it doesn't really matter because it is only level 7 and after chasing him for nearly 5 kilometers, I simply wanted to drop him as quickly as possible. Now that's something. Something I really wanted to find. A level 5 Trurak Springbok. Right here on this area. Potentially our first time on Trurak Springbok since the one we got on the early axis. I really wonder where he's going, like is he going to another feed zone, because currently we're at the Springbok feed time and that would make sense. So we're gonna go there and we're gonna try to find his track to eventually figure that out. Oh, hold up. Is that the herd? Yeah, there's the five. Finally. We had to be really patient to get to his point, I simply didn't want to spook them before being able to see him, and there we have him. 
roughly 40, 50 meters out. I don't know exactly how close we are, but we are very, very close. Now the thing is that as you can see, this level 5 is behind those two males and it's gonna be hard to shoot him, although... When this level 3 lowers his head, the window opens where we can actually hit him. Right there. Yeah, should be a simple shot. And that's it. Now it's time to see if this level 5 Springbok is in fact big enough to be the second diamond of the hunt in our first time on Trurak Springbok after several months. Honestly, these horns don't look exactly big, they're actually quite small to be a level 5, but I'm still confident that he's gonna make it. I mean, compared with the horns of the diamond I got on the early access, this one is looks quite smaller. Maybe troll. But he's a diamond, 79.92, well above the diamond score, which is 78.55, so finally, that is our first diamond Trurak Springbok on this live build. Frankly, I'm not a huge fan of their Trurax, I really think they should be a lot bigger, especially on the level 3s and the level 4s, but what matters in this case is that this one made diamond.